Good morning, this is TCR, TroyCommunityRadio.com. I'm Clint Myers on 1071 WTJN for David Denoyer on TCTV. It's time for Community Connection with the Miami County Park District, and with me is Scott Myers. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? Oh, uh, a little warm in the studio. Yeah, a little warm. That's all right. Uh, you know, I, I'll be honest with you, I would much rather be warm than cold. Yes. Just my personality. I, you know, I don't like cold weather. Not uh, a fan of you it. had some cooler weather during the Hug the Earth yeah, Festival. Yeah, well, last week. yeah, Saturday was, uh, you know, last Saturday wasn't real pleasant with the Hug the Earth Festival or public event. Now, during the week, it wasn't bad. So we had the kids all week, Tuesday through Friday. So, you know, a couple of days the weather was a little inclement or there was some potential for some storms. So we had two days we had to go to the fairgrounds. And, and thank goodness the, um, the, the fairgrounds is, allows us to to go there when we when we need it and uh, oh, absolutely. so it's so generous of them and so they're so helpful to us driven past tremendous. the fairground looked like there was quite a crowd yeah well you know when you've got 3,000 kids in a week and spread out <laughs> over four days you, you, there's a good chance you got about seven or eight hundred each day so yes. um, yeah so when we go there and it is great because it it provides us the opportunity to keep the kids out of the weather using their buildings um, it's easy for the buses to get in and out and uh, we have asphalt to park people on as opposed to the grass and when it's wet out it's still water you know sometimes it could tear things up and so we don't like to do that right you know it but two of the days we were at still water two of the days we were at fairgrounds um, but it was awesome the kids had a blast the banana slugs had, had a lot of fun when they were here and great and it's just a great it's a, just a great week for everybody and you know Saturday it you know obviously the, with the weather the tenants wasn't very good because it was cold and rainy and uh, but, you know, the folks that came out still had fun doing all of the activities that we had and, and that kind of thing. So. And uh, a lot of great uh, sponsors yeah, that I have been really helping for years yeah, to put this together. Yeah, it really has grown. Each year we keep getting a little more, you know. I already talked about the fairgrounds, uh, the Miami County Agricultural Society. The Troy Foundation is very supportive of our, our Hug the Earth uh, Festival program and Emerson Climate Technologies. They sponsor every year. Kerber Sheet Metal, uh, Dan and Carol Kerber are tremendous. They have been tremendous supporters of the Park District and especially our uh, school education program for years, so they're wonderful. Uh, Abbott Nutrition, uh, Ohio Aggregates and Industrial Minerals Association, you know, they come out and bring sand piles and fossils and, gr and rocks and the kids get to dig in the sand and find the, the find little nuggets of treasure in the, uh, in the sand piles. And, so they're great. Um, that's a great part of the program. Our volunteers and parks, volunteer, VIPs, uh, they help with uh, during the week with the kids and volunteering, and then on Saturday do some things for us at the program. And then uh, Mohawk Freestyle Grill, they bring their food truck out. Oh, and, nice. Uh, during the week, you know, they provide meals for the slugs, and then on Saturday they're there for the festival. And then in the evenings, we always need someone to, you know, the, 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 feed the, everybody. Yeah, the banana slugs <laughs> need to eat. So the Caroline and El Sombrero, La Piazza, every year they always step up and provide meals, and, and they're always so good. And, and uh, it was funny, again, like every year, um, our, we were at, uh, on, the, on the Friday night, we were at La Piazza, and the, and the waiter you know, wasn't familiar with the banana slugs. And he's like, okay, now the, the banana slugs, you go, he goes, he said, one of their other waitresses or something was all was asking me about oh, do, do you got the band <laughs> <laughs> and so this girl came out and she's uh, uh was all excited because she'd gone through the program and now she's a uh, in school to be a teacher and and so very it was very really cool so uh that was another one of those and then the comfort end the miami, miami valley center mall they uh, provided the rooms and had a real reduced race for us so we thank all those sponsors for the week and um you know, one thing we did a little different this year, too, is we w sought out some local uh, clubs and organizations to maybe provide some support for the um, rock wall, zip line, uh, the tree climbing, uh, those kind of the things that uh, um, pretty good expense to bring in. Yes. And, um, you know, so in order to keep that, uh, we do have them, they come in on Thursday, Friday for the older kids. We also keep it over on Saturday, and so folks are able to do that stuff for free. We don't have to charge folks to do it because it's you know it's a pretty good expense to bring them in for three days. Oh, to, and, to bring all that in and set yeah, it up and yeah, yeah exactly. what a cool so, thing to have. But it there is cool. For the kids. Yeah, it's so awesome, and and you know so of course on Saturday the adults get to do it too, so that's even better. But the Troy Moose Lodge, uh, twenty six ninety five, the Tip Foundation, uh, the Troy Eagles, uh, the Tiff 
tip uh, VFW post 4615 and the Piqua Kiwanis all stepped up and great assistance to us and that was able to provide that those five organizations paid for the full day of Saturday. Wow. So that covered all of Saturday's costs, so we were able to do it free for folks. So we really, it's really nice of those services organizations to do that. It's wonderful, wonderful for the community. It so, takes so much to put on uh, it's, uh, an event like yes. what you had week long. Yes. And it takes a lot of people working together. Yeah, yeah. To make well, it happen. is. We have great partnership with the schools, um, the service organizations, our sponsors, um, you know, parents, volunteers. You know the community that supports us in our from our levy standpoint every you know when it's ever on the ballot um, So it is tremendous uh, community support we have for it. So it's really 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 cool Now you've started your fifth year of the trail run challenge. Yeah, yeah, you you've got a uh, trail run Yeah, when we got one race is in the books uh, back in late April at the Hobart Urban Nature Preserve, but we got four more to go um, You know we the next race is June 12th so it, it's coming up here soon. Mark the calendar. Mark the calendar. Garbery Big Woods. I need to register by June 1st to get a t-shirt. Um, at Hobart, we had over 200 people. Wow. Um, good race. Um, and it's not, and we talk about this all the time, it's not about competition. It's, it's not, not a, like a race This race. isn't the Boston Marathon where we've got all kinds of people, the top elite runners from around the world coming here, and we don't even have the elite runners in Miami County. This is about... Uh, it's a really a Just race being to active. do up your personal best. Correct, correct. It's not. Yeah, it's about you know, you know, be, being healthy, being in all the races, training, doing exercise, being active uh, to make yourself healthier. And you know, we have a great uh, partnership with Miami County Public Health and their nurses, and they come out and do our uh, you know health screening with blood pressure and BMI and weight and all those things to help folks track themselves and give them targets for the year so as they go, you know, they can participate in all of the races and, and do that. And, you know, we have a team challenge. We have a whole bunch of teams this year um, that are doing a wonderful job of, of, you know, huge turnout the first week amongst the teams, so that it's the first uh, race. And But, uh, you know, if they go to our website, they can find out all the dates for it. Uh, they can get to uh, um, allianceRunning.com. Uh, they do our uh, timing for us, and, and uh, you can register right there on their website. Um, you can also register the day of. So on June 12th, you decide, ah, all right, I'm going to go out there and, and do that 5K at, at Garbery Big Woods. And, you know, we'll start registration at 8 a.m. The race is at 9 on that Sunday, June 12th. All yeah, right. You know, and it's cool. It's, it's neat that, you know, it's different running through the, the parks than running – you know, on the street, and you're running oh, on yeah. gravel, you're running on grass, you're running in through the woods, you know, so it's a really, it's a neat experience, you're running around the pond uh, out there at Garbury, so it's a, it's a much different feel uh, than what a lot of folks uh, get to experience on their 5K, so, um, you know, great sponsors that help us every year with this, Upper Valley Medical Center, Miami County Public Health, Abbey Credit Union, A-plus Tutoring, uh, Marsh McLennan Agency, and Up and Running, Tremendous sponsors uh, help provide a great experience for everybody and, and have a lot of good a good time for the races. So. Now, you already had a couple of your uh, EcoSplorers yeah. camps fill up, wow. like right the yes. day that you opened them yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, they are uh, extremely popular, our EcoSplorers camps, and we have, you know, limited number because we want to try to keep a really good student-to-staff ratio. That's and good idea. So we have to do that. And uh, so we're, you know, you, and plus you only have so many stations to move kids around to and you know if you start doubling up uh, it becomes the experience becomes not as good so but yeah we have five weeks of echo explorers two of them have filled up um, and so it's it's very important that uh, you know if you if you want to participate in the echo explorers programs uh, that they get on our website on our programs and sign up right away what are um, the age ranges on the echo the echo tots we have four to five and then the Echo Explorers is 6 to 12. Okay. So great time for elementary kids, uh, youngsters, to have a great time in the parks. And each week has a different theme. And go in there and we got like bike week and farm week. And, and actually the farm week is art farm week. Um, water week, actually water week's already filled. That one's always our most popular. In fact, it's, you know, it's gotten to the point, you know, the way this has sort of grown and the demand is, you know, we're seriously talking about, you know, doing some way of really revamping it not the program but how it's offered and, and uh, how those you can get, things. get how it offered more people, to more right how we get more people involved and and those kinds of things so because uh, it is a really good program and folks really enjoy it and 
anything to get people outside, get kids outside, and get used to that. Well, it's school's going to be letting out on the 27th. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, I know. keep their minds active and yeah. their bodies active yeah. this summer. I mean, shoot, one more week? Yeah. One more week? Oh, my God. Now, uh, you've got a lot of great events that are right here in the near future. Yeah, um, you know, the, today's the 21st, I believe, and so today we have our Family Discovery Hike Animal Senses from 1.30 to 3 at Stillwater, so this afternoon, get out to Stillwater. Uh, it's a guided hike. Um, oh, this is our special one, with the, so folks have already pre-registered for this one. So this is our, our program with uh, kids with autism and their families. Now, everyone's welcome. You don't have to, uh, in that regard. But uh, each hike is, includes a, one or two different uh, social skills to practice along with several fun activities. And the, the folks have gotten a social, uh, but we'll have more of these as they come along so people can be on the lookout for that. Now, that's your program of, like you said, folks pre-register. Yes. And then it kind of has a, get a, a social so, story. Yeah, a social yeah. story so they know what to expect. Exactly. So the kids know what's coming. Right, right. So that way they can have a good experience and, and have a great program. Okay. The first one was very successful. We, this is our second one. And, and so it's, it's really, really a good deal. So the animal senses. Uh, tomorrow, we have storybook trail, dinner party for the birds, one to three at Charleston Falls Preserve, and uh, you know that, uh, the uh, the book is actually one written by Spirit of Thunder, John DeBoer, oh, okay. a naturalist. He wrote it several years ago, and uh, so it'll be an opportunity for them to, um, you know, folks can you know do the book with their kids and learn about the sounds that that birds make and things like that, and then. Followed at the same time from one to four at Charleston is our natural is our natural adventure series birds 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 so birds is the theme tomorrow, <laughs> um, but they can go on online register for our, uh, you know for our programs there at the, on our website. Um, trailing moms and tots is Monday, ten to twelve at Charleston Falls, uh, expectant mothers and mothers and tots zero to five years of age so. Uh, very strong program when the weather is good. We've had large numbers. I was just going to say, how many, how many come out for the trailing well, moms and tots? It, it, one, like you said, depending we had on the weather. We explosion one day. We had a great day, and all of a sudden we had like 90-some people. Wow. Show. Yeah, so it's yeah, very, yeah, so it's great. Great chance for folks to socialize, um, get together, have a great time, and those kinds of things. And then uh, June 1. Uh, June will be here before long. Biodiversity photography. It's six o'clock at Charleston Falls, and so this will give it, folks an opportunity to document the biodiversity in the parks and monitor the changes through photography. And um, experienced and amateurs are uh, are welcome on that one. So you don't have to be a expert. Um, you can be a a true amateur, so you can sort of learn how that goes. And so you don't have to come with a fancy camera. No, you could, you you could can come with the camera come right on your phone. Your phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's my camera right there. Um, but uh, and then June third, health trekkers from six to seven at Hobart. Uh, this is a one of our health and wellness programs. So take a hike for health and join the park district. Uh, our well, health and wellness specialist, Marion Swanson, and uh, she's a registered nurse and. It's a weekly, it's going to be one of our weekly uh, low impact walks held every Friday. Um, and so folks can get used to that on that Friday, 6 o'clock. And, and it'll be a chance to sort of like walk with, with Mary and she'll talk about different health topics um, as they're going along, like, uh, you know, the relevant topics this time, like heart health, uh, diet, nutrition, diabetes prevention, stress relief, others we discuss. You know, it's a 12 week series. Okay. So folks get used to go on a regular basis and really learn about their health and, and how they can get things better and, uh, with their health. And That's what I, I really like is with your races mm -hmm. and uh, that you do the right. events that are tied in with the wellness right. where where they are right. putting you in touch with what yeah. your body is really doing. Right. Well, and one of the things, and the reason we're, we're doing it, I mean, it's a community need. I mean, right. health and wellness is a huge, you know, huge issue in the country. It's a huge issue in Ohio. It's a huge issue in Miami County, and so um, providing opportunity for folks to learn about that, um, give them an enjoyable place to learn about that, as well as then to, uh, ways in which they can be healthier in, in the long run. Because it's all about, you know, with insurance costs always skyrocketing, health costs always skyrocketing. Well, let's nip it in the bud and catch it before there's a problem. Now, not only with adults, but it's a great time for you to learn these so that your kids. So it's important that the kids get out of nature and get active. And They've got those good habits they established. They get those habits established when they're 5, 6, 7, 8 years old. They'll continue when they're 50, 60, 70, 80 years old. So. 
that's, All right. that's getting folks in that good. And uh, so. speaking of with uh, your camera phone, yeah. you've still got the photo contest, photo contest going on all, all year, year. Yep, that's right, all year. So, um, you know, look at the uh, uh, photo contest. Uh, I know I've seen the pictures, each of the winners each month, and the Troy Daily News, the Pickwood Daily Call. But, you know, you can find out uh, information on our Facebook page on voting for those. Um, but what we'll do is people submit them to us. We will, um, through Facebook, and uh, we'll feature them on our website and uh, uh, the winners and people. What we'll do is we'll select, I think it's seven that we select, five or seven, I can't remember. And then folks on Facebook will vote for their favorite, and then that'll be the winner that'll get shown. So. All right, so they can register for yep. the programs and uh, check yep. out your calendar and, and your right, website. Right, MiamiCountyParks.com. Um, if they want to register for a program, they can just go on there, go to the program calendar, click on the program, and, and register for it. They can call us, 335-6273, or, the, or they can email us, uh, register at MiamiCountyParks.com. All we'll right. Take care of them. Hey, thank you so much for Everything, being here this thank morning, you. Scott. Thank you. Scott Myers from the Miami County Park District. This has been Community Connection with the Miami County Park District. I'm Clint Myers on 1071 WTJN. For David DeNoyer on TCTV.